Hello everybody, I'm going to do a quick video. Here's the title, Anatomy of a Broke. So here's a sketch of an arrowhead. Uh, just a quick video on arrowheads break. You find broken pieces, which is, you know, what part to what. And this be a video kind of showing how one could break. Well, one could break here. Try to do this one-handed, so hey, I might try to do a better one. But uh, and one could break here, All right? So basically, got the bottom and the top. That's the probably the two most common, easy to recognize pieces uh, of a broken arrowhead. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. I know that sounded gross on camera, but oh well. I can't talk. I can't breathe. Okay, so you got those two pieces. Well, what about uh, right here? You can find that piece because it could break there. Well, or you could find that piece. Call these the ears, notches and ears. Uh, I mean, it's actually kind of an endless list. Well, not endless, but there's a lot of variables. You could find just that piece. You could find, oh, you could find something like that. So you could find, oh, sorry, I didn't see it. Yeah, you could find something like that. So you can find just this piece. So get to know your points and how the flaking and everything is really handy because you might not just find something obvious. Obviously those don't two go together. Kind of a cool one if it did. But uh, and knowing your material, knowing uh, what kind of points there are and you know, I'm guesstimating. I use this to trace. You know, it could have been a steeper point, but that's that's kind of my guess on what the end of that would have looked like. It could have been sharper. I, I chose to draw it like that because that's, in my mind, how I envisioned this point. You know, you kind of use a slope and just go up from the slope, draw up, and then, you know. So, like I said, uh, just imagine breaking you know this this breaking so this piece could have broke so you got this piece here somewhere laying there it also could have broke additionally so you know you're not necessarily going to find the complete other half of that you might find you know just that half and then you can break it down even more it could have broke here too so you got this little corner down the middle, or you know, actually, just this square, it could have broke, and it broke here. I mean, it could have shattered, basically shattered. So, uh, this video to help some of the newbies out. Uh, a lot of my subscribers, or a few of them, not a lot of them, I, I could tell some of the comments and some of their videos. They, they're pretty new at it, so I'm going to try to help them out the best I can. So. Uh, and then the next question is, you know, what do you do with them? Well, I keep them. Uh, even, even ones that are extremely, you know, something like that. I, I'd still put in my pocket. I mean, kind of like uh, metal detectors. You don't want to throw anything metal on the ground for you to find later, you know. So, uh, but yeah, just think about all these different variables to. Uh, then you got drills. I mean, drills you commonly find the long. I commonly find just that long drill point broke right about there. And it's going to have flaking in it, so you can tell it's a drill. But, you know, what did the drill look like? Did it look, you know, like one of these deals? Or was it a reworked one of these? So it would have had notches in it cut out. So you could haft it to, you know, a handle or something. So, 
again thanks for watching uh if you like subscribe uh leave comments if you have any questions suggestions whatever i'm thinking about actually doing a uh whole kind of series on starting to air and hunt from the beginning you know i take you out and uh, drive around look at creeks uh, point my way point hey look at that creek you know that looks like a good one and we'll look at it and i'll show you the gravel bars what to look for and you know all the pieces of flint here's You know, here you got different types of flint, or generically referred to a flint. I would call this flint. I will call this chert. It's really hard to tell on the camera, but uh, both flint and chert, and this I think is chert too. Uh, I would call this flint, and this is actually kind of a mix. Uh, it's not the best quality material, but you still got some shine and some. Uh, smoothness but it's still not as smooth and shiny as this so so here's this about the same and this is rougher but I still find points made out of this stuff so that's why I distinguish flint and chert uh, flint's more fine glassy you can get translucence with it uh, church chert I don't think you can get any tr translucent chert uh, at least that's what I call them so again thanks uh, You'll take care. Good luck.